Hello, Technology Crazy here, and I'm just going to do a quick um, tutorial, well, not really a tutorial, about what I've been doing on my website and some things to check out. So if you have been having some problems with the 3.1.2 jailbreak, or if you're on a Mac, you want to pay attention to this video, because I'm going to be focusing on something new that um, my downloads page put a lot of effort into it. And um, previously, I put the custom firmwares and the firmwares for all the 3.0, 3.1.1 but now I have the 3.1.2 so very very new and they're custom firmwares um, so it's really really cool here it explains what uh, the for the iPhone activated and unactivated you want to pay attention to that and explains how to restore from a custom firmware after you've done that you want to click for the links now I spent a lot of time finding all the links so please comment subscribe but here I have, you just want to click on the one you have. So there's the iPod Touch, iPod Touch 2G, iPhone 3G, iPhone 2G, and iPhone 3GS. So let's just click on 3GS. This page will show up, and there that activated and un unactivated page is. And you want to click on the one you uh, figured out you want to use. Very, very crucial. Do not just pick one randomly. You want to find out if you are the unactivated or activated. So let's just click on activated. It brings me to make upload. But if I go back, unactivated would bring me somewhere else. So um, they're not the same links. And obviously for iPod Touch and iPod Touch 2G, there's no um, page because there's no uh, activated and unactivated. So please comment, subscribe. I spent a long time doing this. So yeah, um, I think that's all. So yeah, comment, subscribe. Bye.